Hello, Blaine Gray here from Plaster and Beginners and today we're going to talk about the best brand of flexi trowels. So this started because I made a video a few weeks back and I just was intrigued to ask in the video what is your favourite trowel to use and what trowels do you use when you're plastering. And I ended up getting a load of comments, a load of people responding and I thought I'd take it one step further and I made a little survey in YouTube. Now this isn't the ultimate test asking the public because I only got 329 volts but for me I was very impressed with that so we've had 329 volts within our subscribers of YouTube and I thought I'd run a video to say which one was the winner for the best brand of flexi trowels so what we're going to do is going to go for each brand I'm going to say which order it came in and at the end I'm going to declare your favorite brand for flexi trowels and we had five options we had other which could have been any other flex trial on the market other than ones I'm going to discuss. We had Marshalltown, we had Rafina, we had Naylor and we had Ox. So we had four of the big brands there, four of the, the massive trial retailers and my big question is which one did you think was the best out of the lot? So we're going to start from the very bottom and unfortunately the other brand of trials was, I think we only had like two volts on that one out of 329 uh, so we won't even go into that there's no point carrying on but the last one was Marshalltown now Marshalltown are renowned for being the best trial makers in terms of the rigid trials everyone's got one I mean not everyone but you know they are they make unbelievable trials but their flexi trials haven't ever done as well in terms of sales and that from I don't I hear a few people buying the flex trials but in my opinion and maybe a reason why they're not doing as well is they're just so expensive compared to the other companies that are making the flexi trials, Marshall Towns, uh, seem to be the most expensive out of a lot and not that different from what you've got in standards. So that's that one there. So the next one is, let me get my little survey up. So the third one was Ox Tools. So, for example, it could be the Ox Ultra Flex. I've done a review on this not too long ago. This won 16% of the vote, where Marshalltown won 14%. So this came third. So like I said, this won 16% of the vote. This is, as trials go, this has definitely got a lot of tracks in the last, last year. But a lot more people seem to be using the Ox tools in terms of the trials. Obviously, the speed skins have always been a massive thing on the market. They came out and really took the plaster world by storm. But the flexi trowels never really took off. But I did see a lot of progression last year in terms of use of their flexi trowels. And I must admit they are very nice trowels to use. Extremely light. And in my humble opinion, they were actually really nice trowels. And for the price, they were very good. Um, so this one was the Ultra Flex. It's the flexiest one out of their range. And this is just an example of the flexi trowels they do. Um, so in my opinion, a very good trowel. I was slightly surprised by the verdict that it only got 16%. So it didn't win anywhere near the majority. But, you know, in terms of a rising trowel, it done very well. So then what we are left with, we're left with these two. You've got my battered old Rafina, and then you've got the, the Nella. So these were the two top, top out of the lot and what I'm gonna say is the winner was well deserved so this was your choice by the way the public choice and which ones go for and the winner was Rafina this won a massive 40% of the vote so this was definitely the, the outright winner this was the winner from the beginning to be fair and I must admit you can totally understand why I've not used this trial in a while and it's actually because I got a massive nick in it, so I actually stopped using it. But during the channel, I was testing other flexible trowels. I was onto other reviews, and you know, I just kind of, with reviewing everything you can, you forget what you were using. So, but this was my go-to trowel for about two years. I had a Mediflex for this. I had another flex trowel, but this one was the one I'd use all the time. Um, so we'll come to that in a minute. That is the winner of the competition, by the way. So that won 40% of your vote. That won the best flexi trial. But second, with a massive 28%, that was the Nella. So obviously this is the black edition. This came out at the late end of last year. 
Um, pretty much the middle ground between the Nella Mediflex and the the Flex Mark II, which is like their Ultra Flex Trail. And yeah, this one 28%, but I must admit, I was very surprised by the results. I thought the results would be a lot more... I thought Nella would have won, to be fair. I thought they would have been the go-to trial. I thought Ox would have been close. I knew Rafina would have been up there, but I thought Ox would have been a lot closer. So I was very surprised by the results in that um, in that aspect. So obviously it's not, you know, it's not the biggest vote in the world. It, we didn't get a lot of votes. But out of the channel, I thought it'd be good to document what everyone was thinking. So obviously you've got the bike arc handle. You've got the... You obviously got quite a rigid frame on this one, but a well-regarded trial, and then a lot of people are rating the Nella over anything else. Slightly more expensive of the flexi trials. It's not as expensive as the Marshall Town, but in terms of price range, it is it's a, the upper market trial to use. Whereas Rafina, and you can understand why it won, is the all-round winner. It's quite a good price. You know, it's a fair fair price for a flexible trial. It's quite light to hand, it's a lot light, lighter than Nella's trowel. And there's just something about using this that just works. It doesn't have a long break-in period. Um, so if you were looking at getting flex trowel, I'm just going to give a breakdown on why I think this one won. It doesn't have a long break-in period. It doesn't take much at all to get to it. Maybe after a day of skimming, this is ready to go. Where I'm still trying to break this in, to be honest. This still needs a lot more work. And that's the only downside I would say to the Nella Black Edition, by the way. It does need a lot of breaking in. I'm still trying to get it to the point where I'm comfortable to use it. I'm still not there yet. Still not leaving the finish I want. And it's not getting the wall standard where this was ready after about a day. Um, and it's nice to feel... The handle's nice. Not as nice as Nella's, but it is quite nice. Um, it is just an amazing travel. <clears throat> Leaves a brilliant finish. And it's all round winner. So that was a winner to your vote. That's what won best flexi trial for you in the market at the moment. And you can definitely see why. So with a massive 40%, this was the winner. And for everyone who voted, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. I thought it'd be a bit fun to document what the, your best trial was instead of me saying my opinion all the time. <laughs> I thought it'd be best to hear from you. So thanks a lot for people who voted. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe if you like this video. If you want more helpful tips on tools or anything to do with plastering, we offer a free welcome course to everyone who is involved with plastering beginners. Simply click the link below this video. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the other side. Thanks a lot. See you in the next one. Cheers.